What's up everyone, Darkblade returning with my 100% sync guide for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, where we take a look at the various missions in the game and try to get 100% synchronization on them. To gain 100% synchronization, we normally have to perform additional objectives to the main objective in the mission. Now as we've always, with the 100% sync guides, I try to avoid major spoilers, so I cut out any major cutscenes. Also, some of the areas, for example, when you're tailing someone for quite a long time, and it's quite well, really simple, I will also cut these down as well. I should also mention that I'm not really doing these in sequence anymore because a lot of the additional objectives, the 100% synchronization objectives in Assassin's Creed 4 are relatively easy when compared to the previous game. So I will be skipping around a bit, focusing more on the harder missions rather than trying to do every single mission there is. Anyway, let's get back on track. In this episode we're going to be skipping ahead a little bit and taking a look at the mission in sequence 11, To Suffer Without Dying. Now the main mission objective in this mission is to reach the prison entrance and rescue some friends. I don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't played the mission yet though. Now on top of this you're given two extra additional objectives. The first is to sabotage three alarm bells and the second is to visit two old friends. Not to be confused with the actual two friends you have to rescue in the main mission objective. Now you start this mission in a cage but you are freed quite quickly. After you're freed, just follow the route I take here, taking out all the guards, and you should also see that I do sabotage three bells along the way. The first is relatively simple, the first is just through the entrance. You don't have to take out every single guard you see in this area in order to do this, but you need to take out the ones that potentially patrol past the various alarm bells that you want to sabotage. Along the way there are various bushes, wells and other hidey places you can use to lure the guards in and assassinate them quietly and out of line of sight. Be warned though, there are a few buggy areas in that. These can potentially mess up your assassinations, but if you use the route that I took here as well as attack at the right time then you should be fine. You need to be patient with the additional objectives in this mission especially the alarm bells. You have to work out where the guards are going to be and their patrol routes. For me this is one of the more annoying 100% synchronization missions because of the fact that you have to find the two additional friends and it didn't explain to me whether or not these additional friends were actually the two friends you're trying to find for the main mission objective they're not. But anyway, continue to take out all the relevant guards who are in your way, clearing a path for you to successfully sabotage the remaining bells as well as eventually getting to your old friends. Now like I said, there's loads of hidey holes for you to make these stealth kills from and that. Remember to use the whistle tactic to get guards to come to you rather than simply waiting around for them. You will notice that I backtrack a little bit in this video, but this was the safest option I found. I found that sometimes it was easier to take out guards that were ahead of packs and then go back and take out the remaining ones a little bit later when it was safer. This is normally because the guards that I need to take out first are the patrolling guards rather than the ones who are just simply stationary. You can too, if you want to make things a little bit easier, rely on your sleep darts or berserker darts in order to clear a path for you. For example, I use a sleep dart coming up here simply because it, make things e it makes things easier when taking out the two stationary guys here. So if you can though, if you do put someone to sleep, try to finish them off afterwards as they will eventually wake up. Now I am approaching the first quote unquote old friend here. Edward will do a little speech and this will get the first one ticked off. Now there should be only one bell remaining. As you can see it's right here, fairly easy to get to but there are a lot of guards around so you have to be a bit careful and cautious. I took out the guard at the top of the tower on the ramparts before taking out this stationary one next to the hay bell and then eventually cutting the bell, completing the first additional objective of sabotaging three alarm bells. After that we can worry about focusing on the second additional objective which is to get the last old friend. Now we climb up the scaffold in here and head around the ramparts because we need to get into the centre of this fort here. There are plenty of bushes and that to hide around. I got a little bit impatient and put a guy to sleep here. You don't really have to, you can just simply wait for him to go out of the line of sight. Now once you get to this area of the ramparts you can easily jump down to the prison entrance. Be careful though because you have to become anonymous before you can interact and enter the prison. So if you did get spotted beforehand you need to become anonymous again. 
It shouldn't be too much of an issue though because not many of the guards will be able to spot you before getting to this area. The only one who has a big chance of seeing you is there is a guard patrolling to and from the prison entrance. But just keep an eye on him before jumping down and entering the prison. Now once you get inside the prison there are numerous guards patrolling as well in here so you need to take them out as best as possible. The first one is simple, all you have to do is perform a corner assassination on him. In the next room there are three guards, there's two patrolling in a pair and one on his own. As you can see there is a hay bale in this room and you should be able to easily get into the hay bale if you monitor the guards patrol routes. From the hay bale you should be able to assassinate all three of them or at least two of them leaving one of them open for any sort of assassination you can think up. After you have actually taken out all three of these guards, you'll be free to get and complete the last additional objective, as you'll find your second old friend in this prison cell here. Simply approach the door, press circle to interact, and complete the additional objective. Finding the two old friends can be easily missed in this mission, because it's not actually clear to where they are, you have to explore a little bit. Anyway, once you've talked to your final last friend, all you have to do is continue further into the prison, taking out the remaining guards until you get to the prison cells that are for the main mission. Now, like always, I've cut out major cutscenes as well as long drawn out bits like tail sections, but this was an okay mission. The only downside was actually trying to locate the old friends for the first time, but once you know where they are, it's relatively easy. I quite enjoyed this mission. It was a decent stealth mission in my opinion, so I enjoyed it. Anyway, I've been Dartblade bringing you my 100% sync guide for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.